Today, I'll be demonstrating the concept of sloped armor. Normally, to increase armor protection, it must increase in thickness, which increases weight. However, when armor plate is set at an angle to incoming attacks, the protective value of the armor increases without increasing the armor's weight. This has to do with the armor's thickness relative to incoming attack versus actual thickness of armor. The first experiments with this sloped armor came during the interwar period. However, many of the armored vehicles going into World War II retained slab-sided and boxy designs. The introduction of the Russian T-34 with its heavily sloped armor had a profound impact on armored fighting vehicle design. By the end of the war, most new fighting vehicles featured heavy use of sloped armor. Sloped armor is still featured prominently on most modern military vehicles. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how sloping armor plate makes a substantial difference in its ability to resist attack. Here we are at the range. Down there, we have our 3 8 inch thick mild steel plate set up at about 30 meters. I've got a 16 inch barrel direct impingement PMAG adapter right here, chambered in 5.56. We're going to be shooting 55 grain full metal jacket ammo. So let's start off with the first test at zero degree deflection. That is the plate directly face on to me. Okay, so here's a good look at that 3 8 inch thick steel plate. Now we have it set up here against this log and I've checked with my handy dandy protractor here that it is exactly at zero degrees deflection. So my rounds will be impacting at directly 90 degrees on this plate. Let's give it a shot. This is our first shot. The plate is set at perfectly vertical, 90 degrees. This is our first shot. Plate was set perfectly vertical. We have a nice through and through hole there. Totally punched straight on through that 3 h in thick plate. Okay, for this shot, the plate is set at 10 degrees back from vertical. This is our shot at 10 degrees off of vertical. Now, again, notice I'm not tilting the plate backwards, I'm tilting it to the side, which would minimize the chance of a ricochet coming back at me or into a direction that's unsafe. But it looks like our 10 degree shot, again, went right through and through. You can see that there. Went totally through, just like our zero degree shot. All right, this is the shot where the plate's set at 20 degrees off of vertical. This is our 20 degree shot, and it did not penetrate. Left a big old divot on the back like that, but it did not actually penetrate. It came real close, but it did not actually penetrate, unlike the 10 degree or the zero degree. Okay. Well, let's split the difference, set the plate at 15 degrees, and see if that stops it. All right, we got our plate set at 15 degrees off of vertical. Let's see what happens here. Here we go, 15 degrees. It is not a penetration. A lot like the 20, it left a big bulge in the back. And you can see all the little bits of bullet and jacket still stuck in there. And it looks like it's a bit deeper hole than the 20. But I mean, it's no through and through like these. So I think I'm gonna try and reset it to maybe 12, or close as I can get, and just see if we can get the barest minimum required to stop these rounds. All right, here we go for our shot at 12 degrees off of vertical to see if this just barely will penetrate or just barely be defeated. Okay, here's our shot at 12, 12.5, roughly halfway between 15 and 10. 
Look at that. We got this big glob of jacket stuck on there. Got a little chunk that flew off this direction. Pieces over here. But does not look like a successful penetration. And it's just on the verge of it too. With this one at 10 degrees. Might not be able to see super well, but you can see how this little this one of these little caps here totally popped off which would be this guy which was just barely on there and had just enough energy to knock this piece off so i think our 12 degree shot is just almost there now my pitiful instrumentation here doesn't really let me get a whole lot more precise than this so I think now we're going to test over here what happens at a 30 degree angle and a 45 degree angle to see just how much difference those angles make compared to this total through and through zero degree hole. All right, here's our shot at 30 degrees off of vertical. Not surprisingly, 30 degrees didn't penetrate. Left less of a bulge in it than those previous shots, which is consistent with the whole theory of angling armor plate. All right, this is our last and final test. We have the plate set at 40 degrees off of vertical. Okay, for our final shot, we have this 45 degree angle on the plate it did not penetrate and it did not do near the damage that we had on some of these other ones let's look at the back so our little divot from the 45 degree is nowhere near as impressive as these other ones or maybe it's more impressive because it didn't penetrate 45 degree there 30 degree there Got 15 degree, 12 degree, 20 degree, 10 degree, and last zero, totally vertical. So I'd say the conclusion of this test is pretty clear. The 45 degrees is significantly improved armor protection than zero degrees without increasing the overall thickness of the armor plate. That was a pretty interesting test. Thanks for watching, everybody.